haven't seen Al in a while, seeking visual contact. Yo, what are you supposed to be? The wings and fire motif didn't give it away. I'm a dragon. A girl dragon? Not likely. <laughs> Newsflash, dragons are dudes. Dragons are dudes. According to who? Uh, according to us, oh, yeah. actually, yeah. You know, everyone knows that dragons are supposed to be big and intimidating and scary. And uh, girls are none of the above. Mm -mm. Oh, really? <laughs> Trust me, I can be pretty scary. Let me demonstrate. Hey, enough. Look, if you two jokers... Actually, I'm a jester. ...ever want a girl to like you, name-calling and nasty jokes are not the way to go. Trust me. I'll show some respect. Uh, I can take it from here. Sir mansplains a lot. <laughs> Although, he's totes on point. Jeez, we were just goofing around. Yeah. Well, that excuse is not an excuse. Grow up. Are you okay? Yeah, I was perfectly fine standing up for myself, but thank you. No problem, my lady. My very own knight in shining? Are you kidding me? Justin? Hey. Do I know you? I see you, Zoro. I'll raise you one. class president and swan princess, it's time for me to crown this year's fantasy masquerade queen and king. Can I borrow Hi. This will just take a second. I'm looking for a unicorn, uh, a elusive and mysterious creature. So rare, in fact, that it is impossible to find her in this crowd. You see, I, uh, I really like this unicorn, and I have been chasing her all night. In fact, I have been chasing her all year. Where are you, my unicorn? Still not answering. Last I heard, the prince was out playing mini golf. Hello, all! Awfully oh, sorry I'm late. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Prince Zander, very nice to meet you all. Kyle? I've been trying to reach you. What are you doing here? I mentioned that I had an interview. I was accepted here for an internship. Oh, right. The interview. Of course. Uh, that was a real thing? Yeah. I was gonna tell you about it the night of the gala, but yeah, have a habit of disappearing. Yeah, um, about that. I'm really sorry. I, I promise you have my full attention Hello. from now on. I'm Zonda. Your uh, Highness, uh, I'm Kyle. I'm gonna be assisting you with the solar presentation. Oh, Jolio, yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, do you putter? Uh, well, I don't really... Ah, no worries. I have lots more in the car and dozens of colorful balls. Michaela, join me for dinner tonight. There's this great new sushi restaurant. I love the little fishes. And remember, you can't refuse me because I'm a prince. So, dinner with the prince. Are you guys, are you guys like friends or...? Oh, no, we're not friends. Oh, I mean, we're friends, but it's complicated. You don't have to explain, uh, I'll see you later. Sure. So all 
Uncle Xander's lab test came back negative this morning. No poison, no allergy medicines, no toxoplasmosis. Nada. I even tried Cam's local clone theory and ran a match on the DNA off the prince's fork. And? The sample I had was seriously degraded, so I could only perform one polymerase chain reaction test. A PCR test amplifies a piece of DNA multiple times, so even a single cell can be analyzed for a match. And from what I can see, he's 100% House of Norland. Sanders' royal lineage. So why is he being a royal pain? It doesn't make any sense. I have more bad news. Appears the prince dragged Michaela to a water park. <laughs> it's all over social media. What? The presentation's in an hour. It's like he's trying to sabotage this trip. Michaela, be 11, let me your phone. Need to call the king and seem to have lost mine riding Splash Canyon. Thank you. Kyle. You get to demonstrate the backpack. That is so cool. Thanks, Michaela. So you're, you're here with Prince Xander again. Oh, no, like I told you yesterday, we're just friends. Hey, I get it. Meaning he's a prince and I'm just a... A uh, simple commoner. Michaela is busy today, don't distract her. Your Highness, we were talking. Michaela. The sooner a chap like Kyle accepts his station in life, the better off he'll be. Look, Prince Xander. Your Highness, a word in private. Ooh. Sorry. How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. We can't just throw it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. If you won't do anything about it, I will. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? <laughs> Addison. I'm up! I'm up! Remember. We need to separate the egg whites. So whatever you do, no, no yellow. yellow. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. How many more eggs have to die before we can stop this madness? It must be perfecto, Bryden. Souffles are complicated chemistry. They rise because of the egg whites. When we whip the whites, the protein solution forms a protective layer around the air bubbles. If there is a single trace of fat from the yolks, the whole thing falls apart. Well, all I know is I'm cracking up over here. I'm a shell of myself. Oh, gosh, someone please stop me. I'm resorting to terrible puns. I am not yolking. Hello? You've got customers. I'm in here. I'm in here. I have so missed you guys. We saw you yesterday. <laughs> I've had a total of three hours of sleep in the last two days. Time is slipping through my egg white splattered fingers. Cam's dad's driving us into camp early today. Gotta get a jump on a big assignment we have due. We're building a communications radio. Piece of cake. Speaking of food, how's Adri holding up? Pensando! Yo tengo derecho de llamarme una culinaria experta! Oh no. She's going full on Spanish! That's not good. She never goes full Spanish. Now you see what I'm dealing with. Speaking of dealing with. Yes, hello, Jenny? It's Charles. I'm on my way into the office and just wondering if anybody wanted a croissant or a latte or, or both? Sure. I shall be happy to hold. It's the third time he's called work. He's being so weird. I think he just wants to hear Jenny's voice. It's kind of sweet. He likes her, Cam. Maybe you should tell him you'd be okay if he asked her out. I guess I'd be okay. Maybe. It's just so weird. Still here. Uh, got it. I just thought I'd ask. Yes? Um, I... Well, I, I 
need to check, but I, I think I'm free. No, no, it's fine. In fact, I'm, I'm flattered. I'll be in soon. If it's okay with you, Cameron, I, I've got a date on Tuesday. Sure, Dad. Whatever. I'm fine. How about that? She asked him out. <laughs> I-D-N-S-T-T-O-E-C. I did not see that turn of events coming either. me to surprise you more often. I usually don't like frosting, but this is killer good. I need you to call Brian Cam. And then we saw for sure, meaning Lazarus is behind everything. She's been watching the quail and I this entire time. Now it makes sense why she quit today. I guess running an evil empire is more rewarding than making scones. Guys, this whole thing has been about Lazarus getting revenge on the quail and innovate. We have to stop her. Michaela, the quail said this was too dangerous. And I believe her. Now more than ever, you have to let it go. Besides, if something happened to you, we'd never forgive ourselves. Come on, I, I can't do this alone. I need you. Em, we're responsible for all this going wrong in the first place. Clearly, we're not cut out to be secret agents. You're all more capable than you know. I have total faith in you guys. That's just it. We don't have faith in ourselves. We're sorry, Em. Me too. <laughs> 